So we've got the optical alignment equipment here. This is used to establish the axle centres. So um, when the engine's running, the wheels actually square to the frames. And this engine we're working on is 4930 Hagley Hall. And lining up the axles for this is a really interesting process. But if you're wondering what all this will actually look like when it's together and when we've got these lined up, if you come with me, we'll go and have a look at wrapping them all now, see what it actually looks like when it's together. Right, so this is what we've just been talking about in the shed. As you can see, we've got the wheels in place here. We're concerned mainly with getting this driving wheel set up here. The reason being is this is connected to the cylinders. So we've got measuring points from the centre here of the wheel down to the cylinders. And then um, because this is all connected up, that size has to be correct for it to work properly and then what we'll do is we'll work from this driving wheel here we'll then work to the leading and trailing axles so if you come back inside i'll show you what the setting up is all about to get these measurements and get these axles in the correct place so this is our optical aligning gear here uh, we've got this end, it's actually got the scope. Um, we've set this up, we've used it to line up the edges of the frames. Now what we've done is we've put a light in the bottom of here and we'll use that to shine a light down the frames. Uh, we've then got a frame down there that's got a prism in it. When it's lined up, you'll see there's two lights. When it lines up perfectly, the light should be over the top of each other to make sure that it's all in line and right. That then means that we've got the bar, which is effectively a dummy axle, 90 degrees to the frames, so we know everything's in line. And we can then measure to the leading and trailing wheels to get those on the right centres. From that, we'll then get measurements from the axle to the horn faces. We can then start machining the boxes to suit that size because they're individual sizes, they're not one generic size. And when the axle boxes are done, They'll then sit on these surfaces here. This is the journal. Uh, we'll check the fit of the axle box on the journal. And once we've got all six manufactured and we're happy with them, uh, that's when we'll go through the process of putting the chassis back onto its wheels. Once we've got the wheels back under the chassis, we'll be able to put the connecting rods on. And then that opens it up to a whole load of uh, bits and pieces going back on. Uh, but you'll have to wait for another video to see that there. I'm Dave and I'm the team leader for the Hagley Hall project.